What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So I get this question a lot. A lot of you are trying to export your Blender models to other programs and your modifiers aren't showing up when you do that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you why. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I get this question a lot and I think what a lot of you are trying to do is you're trying to take models from inside of Blender and export them to things like Unity or whatever you're using outside of Blender, right? Maybe for game assets or whatever. But what you're doing is you've currently got a modifier like maybe this Boolean modifier right here, right? So what I've got is I've got a wall and then I've got a box running through the wall that I've got in here as a Boolean. So I'm basically referencing this cube in here as a Boolean. Well, the great thing about this is this is non-destructive, meaning I can move the box around and the cut in here is going to adjust along with that, right? So a lot of you use this to like cut holes in walls or other things like that. However, I think what's happening is I think there's a lot of just exporting of, let's say that we were to export like a DAE file, for example. So we'll just export this modifier example file right here as a Collada file. But if I was to jump over into Unity and import that, so we're gonna do an import asset and we'll bring in the modifier example. What you're getting is you're getting something like this, right? Where the box is still showing up in here. And so it's basically like blocking the opening that you have. Um, your, your Boolean isn't really helping you. Now it is in here as a separate cube and you can delete it out. So let's say we were to unpack this prefab for a second, and let's say we were to delete this out. Notice how the hole isn't even in there. So the reason for that is because the modifiers are an internal thing to Blender. So basically what that means is that means that there's something that Blender is using inside of its own engine in order to create the result that you're seeing right here. It's something that's internal to Blender that you can use um, in order to have these non-destructive results. However, if you wanna export this to an external program, what you need to do is you need to apply the modifiers. So for example, and let's go ahead and let's create a copy of this right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna click in here and you wanna use the apply function in order to do that. So when you do that, however, notice how that functionality where you move this around to cut the opening is no longer there. So because it's no longer there, that means that this is more of a destructive model at this point. It's more of a final type model. So a lot of the time what I might recommend is I might recommend instead of applying the modifier over here, what you might do instead is when you're exporting this and I'm going to undo all of that. When you're exporting this to your Collada file like this, what you might consider doing is you might consider going into the geometry function and clicking on the button for apply modifiers. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna apply all of your modifiers um, when it exports this as opposed to you actually applying it permanently inside of your viewport. Now that can have some kind of unexpected results, so you need to be a little bit careful with it. You may wanna play around with it, but let's see where to call this modifier example applied and export that. So now what you can do is you can go into Unity and you can import that model right here. And we'll move over a little bit. But if I was to drag this in, notice how now this is still showing up in here, but if you were to delete it out and you're gonna have to unpack this, the opening now shows up in here. So that's a non-destructive way to do that. So I would say it's probably easier to just apply these within the viewport itself to delete out your cutter object like this manually. Um, otherwise, it's just more stuff that you have to change inside of Unity. You may save this as a new version before you do that, just in case you do want to go back and use those modifiers, but that's kind of up to you. So if I was to just export this normal like this, so modifier example applied in viewport, and I'm gonna uncheck the box for apply modifiers in this case, we'll just export this. Well now if we were to bring this into Unity, Notice how that comes in here with your opening actually applied. So there's a few different ways to make this work, but just note that if you do have active modifiers inside of Blender, that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna show up in your external program, and in some way or another, you're going to have to apply them. All right, so that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Leave a comment below, let me know if you have any questions about this. If there's anything else like this you'd like to see, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.